Hello friends, welcome back to Living with Cambria and welcome if you are new. So today I am sharing a whole house all day clean with me, but I filmed it a little bit different. Instead of filming for three, four, five hours straight to get you guys this video, I filmed it as a more realistic how I clean throughout the day. So if you're in the need for some extreme cleaning motivation, stay tuned. So in the morning, I like to focus on the upstairs. So I always make my bed first thing. If I don't make my bed, I just don't kind of feel lazy throughout the rest of the day. I don't know. It's a mental thing, but I always make my bed first thing. And I focus on my room, the upstairs bathrooms, and the boys' rooms. That is all I do in the morning. And usually my morning cleaning is 30 minutes to an hour, depending on exactly what I want to get done. An average morning is 30 minutes for just the basics. If I'm going a little bit deeper with dusting and all of those things, then it may take like an hour. Forgot that feeling. The sun in my face, it's so well needed. Life will take care of the rest. Biking alone in the sunset. Through the canal, so the mindset I needed. Yeah, I needed. Oh, let's freeze time. Gather around, watch the sun go down. Oh, in summertime. Now, I always buy my microfiber cloths actually from Home Depot, which I know sounds funny, but they're microfiber cloths they use for like cars. I absolutely love, they're heavy duty, they work really, really well, but that's why you only see two colored cloths. Uh, for the longest time I only had these orange ones, but I went and bought more and they were only in yellow. However, I do change them out. I don't wipe down my toilet and then everything else in my house, I promise. But I love these cloths and I buy them, like I said, in bulk at Home Depot. Now this desk, I wipe down every single day. I do my makeup there in the morning, so powder and makeup gets everywhere. So I always have to wipe it down in the morning. And then on to the dreaded boys' bathroom. Now, a lot of people always wonder why I wipe down the bathrooms daily. Honestly, I don't like cleaning bathrooms. I really, really don't. And that's why I do it daily. I don't ever have to scrub. I can do a quick wipe down and it stays clean. But especially the boys' bathroom. There is toothpaste in the sink all the time. So I would rather wipe it down daily and it be really easy than do it once a week and have to scrub. I despise scrubbing. Same with the toilets. I have boys and I've heard girls are messy too, but I can't say anything about that because I have boys. But I have one that is potty training. So wiping down the toilet and making sure that's really clean is a big priority of mine because yeah, I think you get the gist. And then I just straighten up their rooms. They're usually pretty good at keeping up with it themselves, but in the morning, I like to do a quick cleanup. And then throughout the day, I have them pick up as they go. And I do make their beds. It's only because, honestly, I would be going crazy if they made their own beds because I wouldn't be happy with the way it looks. Might be a little anal. But it's just one pet peeve of mine. I want the beds to look nice, so I do make the beds every single morning. But should it be like this? Locked up in your dome. You know I fight for you. But do I?
loving the heat I think I'm losing it What do I Now, vacuuming is a daily chore for me. If any of you guys have a Siberian Husky or just a dog that sheds often, you know it's something you really have to keep up with. And especially with carpeted upstairs, it actually will keep your carpet lasting longer if you vacuum it regularly. Um, not just the dog hair, but also you'll get dirt and sand particles in your carpeting. And as you walk on that, it can grind on the fibers of the carpeting. So to keep your carpeting looking fresh and new, it's better to keep up with the vacuuming process. That way you don't in the future have to replace your carpet as often. <laughs> Drake right there jumping over the bed. I told him multiple times that I needed him to move and he's stubborn so he didn't move till he saw the vacuum and up he went. But yeah, I just go through the whole upstairs, do a quick vacuum, make sure it's all nice and neat. Plus, what's better than those vacuum lines? But I can never stay away from you. What do I, what do I? And then I do try to do one load of laundry a day. Now I don't always get to folding and putting it away. I just don't like folding and putting it away so I procrastinate. That's, <laughs> that is just the honest truth. But washing and drying I try to do at least one load a day. And then onto my afternoon cleaning. Now the light in this video is very off and on you'll notice. We were having like random downpours and then the sun would come back and then random downpours it was just weird but my afternoon cleaning is mainly the downstairs cleaning up after breakfast lunch any toys that may be hanging out and just doing a quick general tidying of the main level this is something that i don't do it in the morning because i do have a nightly cleaning routine which you will see in this video so it's normally about this time that the house needs a quick tidy up Never could it bite 
biding my time I hope that it ain't so Facing the truth, the eye of the needle And even if we not solving this riddle There's no taking back all the deeds that we've done There's a lot that we need wrong Looking back on all of the shit we've done I cannot believe that it's been so long That we're in the eye of the needle All right, so if you have kids or dogs, you might understand the struggle of sliding glass doors or any windows, per se, that are on the kids' level. They are always getting dirty between lick prints of the dog, fingerprints of the kids, and everything. This is pretty much a daily chore just to keep them clean because they just get bad. This front door is not so bad in the winter. But definitely in the summer when I like to have it open to let the light in, it gets really bad on the lower half, which is also why I only do the lower portion. I don't clean the entire window every single day. I just try to clean up where the kids can get their fingerprints. Breathe it all out, then I breathe in. When there is no way back in, and we are the eye of the needle. I breathe it all out, then I breathe in. Now, Roomba is a lifesaver for me. I will run Roomba about twice a day to keep up with the dog hair or just messes from the kids and it saves me so much time. And today I did decide to catch up on the laundry of actually folding and putting it away so I'm doing that. However, as I do the laundry I love either watching YouTube or HGTV and today I was catching up on Jessica's video from the Circonis. She is a mom of four. She is a homeschool mommy. And even though I don't homeschool, I was homeschooled my entire life. So I love watching homeschool moms. I think they are freaking rock stars because I truly do understand how much work it is. And she's just amazing. So I will leave her in the I cards above as well as the description below. So if you enjoyed weekly vlogs, definitely check her out. I love her and her family. They are just the sweetest. And back to the laundry. Like I said, I don't love doing laundry, but I definitely needed to catch up on it today. degrees it's making me hot and he has the same effect on me it's just something about the way that he's making me feel my insides are out i just want to shout his name ah, my body's giving up on me because i don't know what to do with my fingertips ah, i want to run him through his hair but i'm trying not to stare mm -mm. i get a little starstruck when i see And then for my nightly routine, I will tackle the half bath. I wait till after the boys are in bed to do my nightly routine. That way the half bath won't get touched again until the morning. And then when I wake up, the rest of the house is just clean. So I will pick up after dinner, pick up any toys laying around, as well as if I'm going to mop, I will do it at night before bed. So I will just get everything so that when I wake up, I have nothing to worry about downstairs and I can start this whole process all over again. When I try to get his number, I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself. Ah, my body's giving up on me. 
Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run up through his hair But don't stare I get a little starstruck when I see Making me hot, and he has the same effect on me. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number. I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip on myself. I get a little starstruck when I see him. I couldn't hit him even if I tried. Am I a little crazy to believe that I could wake up with him by my side? I know I could get his attention if I worked it all out. And we got a little tipsy on a Saturday night. Yeah, I want him, and I need him. He's got a one. Now, if you're new to my channel, uh, you may or may not know this, but I do clean out my sink. Every time I have dirty dishes in it, I do a quick scrub down on it to keep it really clean. I am one of these people that if my kitchen isn't clean, I don't feel like my house is clean. And my sink is definitely one of those areas that I really like to have nice. So I will scrub it out with soap and then I will... Um, spray it down with some sort of all-purpose spray disinfectant and dry it out. Drying it out keeps it so shiny and I will also use essential oils in my drain at night to keep the drain fresh and smelling clean. At night is also when I will wipe down all my appliances. Once again, I'd rather do it at night. That way when I wake up, it's all fresh and clean and ready for a whole nother day of fingerprints and messes. I just, there's something about getting it clean at night, even though a good portion of the time I will be sleeping, just knowing that there's going to be hours of it being clean makes me happy. I don't know why, but it really, really does. So I always wipe down my appliances at night, obviously as needed. Um, now I am curious, do you guys clean kind of like I do where it's throughout the day? Um, do you clean every single day or are you one of these people that have a set time during the day that you clean your entire house or a set day during the week that you clean your entire house? How do you like to keep your house in order? And then, like I said earlier, if I'm going to mop, I mop at night. I do mop more often this time of year. Uh, this is more of our wet season. So muddy footprints from the dog or the kids just running in and out since they're playing outside now that it's nice out. The floors just need a little bit more love, a little bit more often. And of course, I have my mop socks on. If you're new here, you may not have seen these. But if you are a returning subscriber, you definitely know how much I love these things. Makes mopping so much easier. I don't need to worry about walking over where it's already wet. 
and if there's a tough spot I can just scrub it with my foot instead of getting on my hands and knees. I do always leave everything linked in my description below in my Amazon store. Otherwise, if I don't, definitely shoot me a comment. I try to respond to every single one of your guys' comments, and I love hearing from you. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, I hope you would consider subscribing and joining me and my family here on YouTube. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. As you guys know, you mean the world to me. And I will see you next time. Bye!